to this episode of The Integrated Entrepreneur. We are going over the culture crisis in America and how it's impacting your business. And I'm here with my co-host, Keith. Keith, what's going on? My man. What's up? So when I told Keith the topic, he basically said, yeah, today's day, everyone's about me and nothing but me. And there's, there's a lot of truth to that, right? And what I see, and I'll just lead off. I see that it is much har- harder to hire the right people for your business, okay? It is harder to find people that understand how important performance is, understand how important commitment is, and they understand how being part of something bigger than yourself, like a team, and contributing to that actually matters, right? These are things that, you know, you can look back uh, the last 20 years basically to when we start giving out participation trophies. Okay. And yeah. Right. Think about that. All right. Great. You just competed. You didn't win anything. You didn't even come in the top three, but here's a fucking ribbon or here's a trophy because, Hey, you showed up. All right. Inclusion. Inclu- you got to include exactly. the losers too, bro. Inclusion. And the problem is <laughs> the real world doesn't work that way. The real world perf- rewards performance and results all right and so what happens is at least in my experience i have a bunch of unqualified people coming and trying to apply for positions right out of college and their expectation is hey they should be able to make a hundred a hundred and twenty a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year with no experience okay and this has impacted not just my business but all businesses right people or don't have the right values or the end, they don't have the right skill set. And then what you're trying to do is you're hiring from a group of people that don't have the skills you need, don't have the attitude you need. And you just have to pick the diamond in the rough and hope you can turn them into a diamond or her into a diamond and not be so rough. This is not an easy environment to operate in. And so, Hiring is probably one of the most important, if not the most important thing that you can do to grow your team. And if you are adding people that are not the right fit, you don't just make a mistake. You usually take a step two or three backwards. All right. So this is one of the things that's really impacting businesses is not being able to find the right people to hire. Keith, how do you see this? I mean, yeah. Uh, the, we hire all the time and, and the, uh, pool of people is terrible. Um, no one wants to work. Uh, everyone wants to drive a Bugatti and not uh, earn it. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's, that's a problem. And then when you connect that problem within business mm-hmm. and talk about culture of an organization, it not only f- affects like people and attitudes and uh, you know, the likelihood of you keeping people for a long period of time, but it's the bottom line that truly takes the hit of the business, yeah. which then affects everything because businesses uh, like we talked about in our last podcast, they're, they're falling left and right to bankruptcy. Yeah. Right. It fucks up customer service. It fucks up the brand fucks up performance, the drive, the motivation, any kind of initiatives that you're trying to put on as a business. And ultimately all that trickles down to the bottom line being zilch Mm -hmm. because you just got a bunch of people showing up to show up and not really putting forth the effort to earn the paycheck. They just feel like entitled to have that. Right. So that's the biggest component of, of this issue is, the morale in your company takes a pretty devastating hit, which depends on how you, you kind of go through that process as the business owner. Right. So that's one thing, but we, we often say culture and we always think about, do you and Tommy and John have a good time when you're at work? And do you guys do motivating and inspiring things outside of work as a collective unit? Well, let's talk a little bit about the other things that, don't really ever get brought up in this conversation. It's not only the behavior of your employees, but what about your consumer? Mm -hmm. Right. What, what does the culture of your business put off to the consumers who are the ones 
buying things, products or services from you. And what does that do? Right? Because we all we've all heard this before, like bad publicity is good publicity. Not any fucking more it ain't. Yeah. Right? The internet has changed. Bad publicity is terrible because now you've got every Tommy Tough guy behind his Twitter fingers or Facebook, you know, talking shit. And how many people does that get exposed to? As it's no longer bad, bad publicity is good publicity. Bad publicity is not is just that. It is not good. Yeah. Right? And so there's a lot more to it than just the culture. That's kind of the initiation piece of this but then it trickles all the way to i mean dude, you're just putting businesses out left and right based on the employees yeah because I, it, well, it affects everything think about think about this back in the day think about how divisive the room is now okay at, at this at, i feel at this point in time the world has never been further divided and if you think about it all the media and all the government is doing is they're labeling people, and whichever label sticks with you the hardest, that's the one that you identify with and you're going to fight for. All right. Now, back in the day, they still did this same exact exercise, guys. They still tried to divide and conquer. Okay. They put out misinformation. However, back in the day, people could communicate and work together if they had differences of opinions. All right. And now everyone is so wrapped up and behind their identities or this thing they identify with that it leaves very little to no room for communication. And when you don't, when you can't communicate, things break down. That's where you see fights. That's where you see uh, the decline of company morale. That's where you see people just no show, no call. All right. And so because people struggle to communicate now, and because they are so shut off to other ideas, Right. That also create, can create toxicity in the workplace and in your office. This is not a new concept. However, the fact, the reality is people are more divide, divided today than they were 10 years ago. Right. That's Dude, just, I got a perfect example of that. Yeah. What is it? Anheuser-Busch. Yes. That's a, that is a great one. The king of beer for how long until they decided... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to support some shit mm-hmm. and that backfired to your point the divide in this country yeah oh that guy that guy doesn't like gay people well his company is now trashed or this company thinks it's okay for a dude to dress as a woman and to go play fucking women's sports and beat the shit out of them in an octagon that company puts money behind that they're gone yeah. see ya right and so that may have always been there, but to your point on the on the information flow of news, Facebook, Twitter, yeah, you know, nothing is hidden anymore, no. right? And so, it is a real fucking thing. Yeah, the culture of your company and what you do or do not support could either make you or break you. Yeah, based on how you put that forth into the world of information spread. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, it, we're in an ugly time yeah. with humans and the, the, you know, the, the, the gender <laughs> shit that's going on and labeling yeah. and all that. It's crazy. You're, you're right. But how can people use this to their advantage, right? If everybody knows this, okay, and people are dying for good old-fashioned decency and core values companies have the biggest opportunity ever right now if you can post pro good decisions pro good choices good core values okay if you are a proud patriotic company who stands behind what their good or services are and you guys have great customer support that gets shared faster than ever too okay so yes while everything is amplified and everything is under that magnifying glass understand that 
you can choose to do shitty things or choose to do great things. If you choose to do great things, you promote great things. And that is the culture that you truly have inside your company. And that gets passed to every employee and passed to your clients. There's never been a better time to operate that way. Okay. The referrals won't stop. Your phone won't stop ringing. And ask me how I know, because behind us, behind me right there, those are our core values. Every single one of them has to do with just doing the right thing and, and, and over delivering for our clients. That's too simple, dude. It's too simple. Yeah, I know. Why would anyone want to do that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I'll tell you this, all my, all my, everybody on my team knows those. Okay. They live by it because that's how we hire, promote, fire, uh, reward. And because of that, it has, allowed my team to grow exponentially, right? And so these are little changes that you guys can make that will actually give you an advantage over your competition, all right? How else has the cultural crisis impacted business, Keith? Like, what are some things that happened today that are commonplace that didn't happen 10 years ago? No, I just think that, uh, you know, a lot a lot more people feel like they have the ability to speak uh, their, their differences Mm -hmm. without ramifications because yes. uh, too many leaders are soft to make decisions. Back in the day, had you like disrespected your boss or there's no fucking write up and counseling and this and that. It's like, dude, you fucking you're out. Yeah. See ya. Yep. Now it's like everyone's scared of an attorney. Everyone's scared of unemployment. Everyone's scared of like, uh, you know, all of these claims and, Oh my God, Timmy's going to put a bad review on fucking Google. Five, my five star will go to 4.6 stars and then I'll be out of business. Like everyone's scared to do what they know they need to do. So guess what happens? Mm -hmm. Hold on to the poison until their entire fucking ship is filled with disgruntled people. Yeah. And then they shut their doors. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I mean, call me old fashioned, but like I'm the kind of guy it's like, dude, if we got beef, like let's, belly to belly. And if you want to punch me, let's fucking do that and get over it. And like, yeah. go back to work. Yeah. You do that today, your ass is going to jail and you're getting your ass sued by Farah and Farah or one of these other stupid ass companies out there that are doing nothing but advertising. Yeah. Please call me for a free consultation and we'll sue the shit out of everyone. doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, um, Dude, like coming up is, you know, my dad owned plumbing companies and I remember watching my dad fist fight people. Like yeah. they just fought it out, dude. They did the shit that men were supposed to do. Yeah. I'm not an advocate of getting out in the streets and fighting because everyone's got a cell phone and every other person's got a gun. So you, chances are you're going to get shot on camera. Uh, and that shot sucks. in real life. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's like, what do you do? Like oh. for me, I just keep my circle tight. Yeah, that's that's all you can do. You got to yeah. you got to pay attention to who you let in your circle and don't violate that rule with yourself. Yeah. Um, so the outside of that, man, I don't know, like as a, as one guy versus the world today, like what do you do? That's a great fucking question. And I don't have an answer. I, I think you do what's in your control, right? If you look all around you, this that's what's in your control, right? Your family, your team. You know, your kids, your friends, do the best you can and hope that that shit spreads. Because think about it this way. This culture crisis started the same way we are trying to end it. Okay. It started by people not caring and not doing the right thing and that becoming cool. Well, mm -hmm. if it starts to be cool to do the right thing and people care about being decent to one another, all right, mm -hmm. and care about helping one another, you could be that person that starts that in somebody else. You show a little bit of kindness, and guess what? That person feels moved. They show a little bit of kindness. That's how this started with the negative shit. It'll start that way, and the change will start positively doing it the same way. But you know what? You just have to believe and be that first one to start that chain. And I, even if everyone on here just started that this week after listening to that, it'd still be a much better place. It would it would impact at least, you know, 10, 20, 30 lives. All right. 
these are just differences. You got, you got to do it in small doses, dude. That's exactly. All you can do. Exactly. And these are just small microchasms of like things that are going on today that are just commonplace that wouldn't have been common five or ten years ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think the more or the quicker we can get out of this culture crisis, and guys, if you own a business, it starts with you. You set the culture. You set the tone. If your team knows that this is what they need to do and this is the culture that we operate in, anyone that doesn't fit leaves and leaves right away. And then you hire people on slowly. You are building that culture. And that is going to impact your local community. All right. And it starts Mm -hmm. at the top and it starts with you leading it. All right. That's all we can do. Back to the question, what can you do about it? That's really all we can do. All right. Go on, own share your own the message. economy. Shameless there, plug. There you go. Own your own economy. <laughs> all right. Own your own economy. So listen, you guys heard it here first. These are some of the differences. We gave you some of the things you can do about it. You are the leader. You can make that difference. Okay. With your team and your company. Start there. All right. Appreciate you guys. Share this with someone that needs to hear it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.